When you drive down the streets of Murfreesboro, you see every small town. Children going to school. Businesses opening their doors. Friends and families. You see what hometown was meant to be. Smiles and waves, helping hands, handshakes that mean something. And good neighbors meaning more. You see your hometown. But there are hundreds of small towns that dot the countryside, but only one Murfreesboro. You see, in Murfreesboro, we welcome business and investors. We welcome new friends in search of a place to start, a place to settle down, a place to grow up in, and a place to call their hometown, a place ripe with possibilities. Many businesses call Murfreesboro home like Silkworm, Penn Aluminum, St. Joseph Memorial Hospital, and many others. They've been in town for years and years and love what Murfreesboro means to them. The customer base of Murfreesboro, the banking, as well as the city itself have all been a positive influence on our ability to grow. Murfreesboro is a very friendly community. You know, people that I get from the outlying areas said, well, it's always such a nice town because you're walking down the street, people speak to me on the street, they don't even know me, and they speak to me. You know, it's a, it's a very friendly community. A business needs more than just a great city. It needs a community and civic leaders that support business. Tourism is a, is a real trigger for us, and it's working well now with being the gateway to the Shawnee Wine Trail, which we are, the General John A. Logan Museum, the great festivals we have, the Clark's baseball team. We have a lot of tools working for us that are exposing us to the rest of the country, and we intend to keep pushing that forward. But business is just one aspect of Murfreesboro. Two of the biggest attractions are the Murfreesboro Apple Festival and the General Johnny Logan Museum. The one that obviously means the most to me is the Murfreesboro Apple Festival. They'll come to Murfreesboro for the first time, returning during that time, and then they'll see all the things that Murfreesboro has to offer. They'll see the shops, they'll see the homes, they'll see the businesses, they'll see the people of Murfreesboro and Southern Illinois, and that's what brings them back. We are the General Johnny Logan Museum, and I think it represents a lot of the great little things that are in our community. I don't think you see this in a lot of small local museums, and maybe that's because we don't think of ourselves as a local museum, we think of ourselves as a national museum. The museum, along with a major university, a local community college, and public and private schools, offer Murfreesboro students the best education. When the student walks out of these doors, they are prepared for life. The, the obstacles that come, having a kid know different facts is important but having them be able to think and process for themselves and know what is right and what is wrong and be able to make a life for themselves, that's the most important thing. That is school in Murfreesboro. For all of these businessmen and women, volunteers and community leaders, Murfreesboro is their hometown. Maybe it's time to come to Murfreesboro and start calling it your hometown too and invest your business, your resources and your life in Murfreesboro, a community like they were meant to be a community ripe with possibilities. <laughs>